This is WENY News. Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on our webcast. It is Monday, the 18th of August, 2014. I'm Austin Reed. Hope you had a great weekend. We'll get to Craig Flynn. He's back with us. He'll have a look at your week ahead weather forecast. But first, the latest news from WENY News and the Star Gazette. In our top story, in the wake of race riots happening right now in Missouri, well, new today, WENY has learned of an active race-related police investigation that's just getting started in one Southern Tier community. According to the Ithaca Police Department's Facebook page, after concerned parents reached out to Ithaca Mayor Savante Myrick complaining of racial bias, the mayor has now called for an open internal investigation. In a newly released police report, documents say one Ithaca officer recently pointed his gun at four teens of color. Authorities say the teens were in the same area of two car arsons that had just taken place and a plain clothed officer who was also in an unmarked vehicle attempted to stop and question them. But that's when the teens reportedly ran away and when the officer got out of his vehicle, the group turned around and began approaching him. At that time, police say the officer drew his gun and ordered the young suspects to lie on the ground. No one was hurt. The police department is standing behind that officer today. Some of the teen's parents, however, are outraged. Uh, the parents did express very clearly how distraught their teens felt and, and how they, um, they claimed that he, they did not know that he was a police officer when he began following them. And that was just a sample of a radio interview over the phone the mayor did on Saturday with our news radio partner, WHCU-AM. You can hear the full interview right now on their website. In the meantime, do stay with WENY News for updates all week on this story. Other news, the future of the Bath Police Department will take center stage at tonight's Village Board meeting, as two full-time positions are right now on the chopping block. According to an email we received from a viewer, the meeting will discuss the alleged mishandling of village funds and equipment, plus possible layoffs to police officers in the village. Some officers will be there speaking out against the looming cuts. That meeting set for tonight, 5.30 p.m. at Bath Village Hall. We have a traffic alert for drivers in Addison and Corning today. A project to repair the Norfolk Southern Railroad crossing on State Route 417 in the village of Addison. Expected to start this morning. Also today, East Water Street and Wall Street will be closed at the crossing for the next three days. Then in Corning, the city will conduct paving work this week. Starting today, continuing through Friday, there will be no parking on certain streets in the city. And finally for you, downtown Elmira took a step back into the 1920s this weekend. Take a listen. We had this story fresh in our 6.30 half hour this morning on Good Morning Twin Tiers. The ninth annual Twin Tiers Michelob Jazz Festival. It was Saturday, brought hundreds to downtown. People got to enjoy a talented lineup of jazz bands, food, and community. The sounds of the saxophones, trumpets, and trombones could be heard all day throughout downtown. And it wasn't just the residents from the Twin Tiers enjoying the tunes. People from across New York State and Pennsylvania in attendance. Great, and, um, and we also had a bus come down from Buffalo, so we have, um, you know, that's a big, and they'll stay, they came down, I think, last night, and stay tonight, and leave tomorrow. Everybody loves this festival. This festival, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is not going to go anywhere. This is a community favorite, um, and people just wait for it. Enjoy the weekend, right? For more details about what's going on in downtown Elmira, head online to elmiradowntown.com. Organizers say they're already getting ready for next year. Hey, time to check in with Craig Flint. He's back with us on this Monday. Craig, today looking to be actually really nice. Good news for a Monday. Yeah, everyone, you know, it's Monday. Everyone's like, ugh. Mm -hmm. But uh, the weather's going to be good today. Probably the best day of the week, Austin. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for being on the webcast with us. Temperatures today, uh, 7 and an 8. So that's uh, yeah, a shade below where we should be. Eh, it's not too bad, though. The humidity levels will be comfortable. Uh, we'll call it an overall enjoyable day with a good deal of sunshine. Now, some pretty thick fog in spots this morning. That evaporates and lifts by 9, 10 o'clock, and then we're off and running uh, to sunshine. And uh, a good deal of clear sky, courtesy of high pressure. 
over southern Quebec that will dive south. Now we do have some patchy clouds out there this morning and some fog. Again, that goes away here by 9, 10 o'clock. And then throughout the afternoon, a good deal of sunshine, a little bit of a light northerly wind today with dry air in place. That means a good deal of sunshine for you and me. And overnight tonight, skies will tend to clear uh, and uh, we'll start tomorrow morning with some fog. But uh, as a disturbance, which is currently situated down to the south, starts to approach, that will spread some clouds and eventually some wet weather. Those clouds will leak a little bit as we head into Wednesday. So the weather story, the headlines, the best weather today. Enjoy it now because we will be uh, bringing in some changes. The humidity levels will rise as we head into late tomorrow and then continue right through the weekend. Soupy air in place with high dew point temperatures. And it's unsettled, a bit stormy at times Wednesday. And I can't rule out scattered showers at any point Wednesday and beyond right through Saturday. So let's backtrack and we'll talk about what's happening today. And you'll notice future track not picking up on much. That's that high pressure I was telling you about. That will be with us right through the course of the day today and through the overnight tonight. So tomorrow morning we'll start out with some fog, mainly clear sky near 50, but colder nooks and crannies will likely be in the 40s. The sun will fade tomorrow and I can't rule out a shower or two late in the day. Uh, but I think most, if not all, of Tuesday will be dry. It's Wednesday that the higher likelihood for showers and storms arrives, okay? Here's your seven-day forecast. Not bad today. The best day today, 78, good deal of sun. Fading sunshine tomorrow at 80. Slight chance for a shower late. Humid, wet on Wednesday. Rounds of rain, some thunder around. Scattered storms Thursday, scattered showers Friday, maybe a scattered shower or two Saturday. But look at the temperatures, Austin. It's been kind of fall-esque lately. Those numbers are back to where we should be for this time of the year. Still an active weather week, though. Yeah, busy. Uh, the best today, and then it starts to get a little bit more active later. All right. Well, stay with us for updates, Craig. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us here on the webcast for the latest news, weather, and sports anytime. Go to our website, weny.com. And make sure you check out a copy of today's Star Gazette. It's I'm Austin Reed from all of us here. Have a wonderful start to this brand new work week. Take care.